my side of the mountain tells a story of a child that decides to one day say, hey, I don't want to live in New York. I don't want to be in the city. I want to see if I can make it on my own and go out into the wilderness, the Catskills, and try to survive. Kill animals, cook, uh, make shelter, survive the elements. Okay. Now, in the beginning of this book, the author describes in detail that at first it was chosen not to become published because they were afraid, the publisher was afraid that children would read this book and want to go run off to the woods to live. And I was kind of thrown back at reading that thinking, well, this must be a very convincing story that is made up. Uh, to make children want to go off and live in the woods. So I read the book in about three days, and it was, in my opinion, highly unrealistic. And if a child felt influenced from reading this book, I guarantee that that child, well, about 99.9% sure that that child would return home the latest the next day or two because since we have grown more with technology we don't live off the land we haven't in a very long time and kids nowadays are playing xbox and playstation at their homes rarely do you see them outside hardly never do you see them camping and this child in this book was able to train train a bird, okay, like a, a hawk. I, I believe that's what it was. Um, I remember, but anyways. So, if you, I don't know if you've ever come into contact with nature, baby animals, but to have a, have a bird, if you've ever had to care for a baby bird, one time one had fallen out of a tree and I cared for it. And it is extremely difficult to help that creature survive. You have to feed it so often that you will not be able to have a full night's rest in a long time because you have to be feeding it constantly. And it just made it seem like, oh, yeah, you know, so I trained this bird to, you know, land on my shoulder and go out and hunt for us. And it, I don't ever have to worry about it flying away because it's adapted to me. And I just thought, um, so for that, just the whole interaction with retrieving this baby bird, finding the nest, it's not, I know it's more complex than the bird, but that's just what I'm calling it. And so that was an unrealistic part, a child um, to be out in the woods where there are hunters and to shoot down deer and for that child to drag that deer to a spot that he won't be noticed and skin it and gut it and be able to cook. I just, even a boy, just hard to imagine not being apprehensive about that and not, and to be able to carve a home out of a tree. Now I know trees can be rather large, but the stability of how old the one was that was described is just very much in question, especially after all of the elements it was exposed to internally from creating the fireplace out of clay. And now the author did a great job in description. I, I, it was easy, very, of course it was easy to follow, it was a children's book, but it was, it did draw you in, but it, it didn't hold my attention well enough to make me wonder, well, what happens next? There was none of that anticipation. And so, and it was just, what is, and if a, a family's child runs away to the woods, I just do not see that family not searching for that child. Not out in the woods trying to, if that happened here and now, there would be a wide search, not just a rumors, oh, there could be a wild boy in the woods. And so the parents were, in the story treated like oh, okay he went to go live for a few months yeah there's a very harsh winter he might not survive but hey i guess we'll know one day huh no it's not very unrealistic
okay? That's, that's not going to happen. So I was very disappointed in how you just can't relate to the story because you just know that it would not happen here or now this way. Unless they're very neglectful parents, okay? So you go into that mindset. Well, they must be, you know, they have, what, six children? So, yeah, they must be neglectful. No, because at the very end of the story, literally the very end, I want to say, like, the last two pages, you learn that the the whole family comes to this boy in the woods and decides to build a house right where he is. We're just going to come live with you. We support you this much. We see how well you've done. We want you to teach the other kids how to survive off the land. Teach us what you know. We're here to stay now. Okay, where did the parents live before in the city? Did they not bring, they're not bringing any of their belongings? Did they already sell them? So many unanswered questions. And yeah, they're, I just, I, it's mind boggling just how, like, what was this author thinking when they wrote this part? I was just thinking, well, that's not gonna happen. Like, they've ne- they've clearly never had went through a winter. So they come out. Oh yeah, the spring's here. Everything's blooming. Oh wow, look at this. What you've done for yourself. Teach us and let us. We're gonna live here now. We just decided to give up everything to come here to live with you in the spring. We didn't see the very harsh winter that just came by, but you can show us next year when it rolls around. And if we hate it, well, I guess we can just go back to work and buy. An, it's just not. It, it's funny to to me. At the end, it was just a funny book because none of this is going to happen. And for the author mentions in the beginning that people have gone out and searched for this little boy because they thought maybe the story's written on a tr- real character, a real person. And I, I just hard for me to imagine that's true because once you read this book, there's I'm just I'm just saying that was and I'm not negative into every story, but when one is, the story is perceived to be very realistic. And then it's not. It is just confusing. And so I don't recommend somebody reading this book. I wouldn't suggest it to anyone. But it is fun to bring up in conversation just for the fact of how realistic, unrealistic it is. And how um, it almost did not get published because they were <laughs> fearful of kids running to the woods to kill animals and to create houses out of trees and make clay and weapons to... Uh, build a fireplace and kill the animals and create a raft and it just no so anyways that's my take on the book thanks for listening